Wow. I can't even reach that. What is a proportion? Anybody know? I don't know. Okay. Somebody's going to shoot out there. You are just going to be completely blank. Out there. Proportion. Something's proportional. What is it? Andrew says. A proportion is a statement that two ratios are equal. Wow, that's a lot like it is in the book. Two equal ratios. Or two equal fractions. A little bit like this. Things are proportional if. You know, if it takes you two gallons um, of gas to go 40 miles, if you need to go 80 miles, how many gallons of gas would that take? So you look at it and you go like this. Well, to go from 40 to 80, I doubled it, right? Yeah. If something's proportional, then you would also double this. Went twice as many miles, used twice as much gas. That is proportional. It would take four gallons. Okay. And it would and you could write it in fraction form. It would be like this. Two gallons to go forty miles would mean how many gallons to go <coughs> eighty miles? It's equal fractions, equal ratios, equal whatever. Multiplied by two, multiplied by two. Okay. Uh, what else do they say about proportions? Here is something they say. Would this be a proportion? If you make $12 an hour, uh, making $12 an hour, is that a proportion? So if you think about that and you make a table of that, where x would be the number of hours you work, and y would be how much cash you make. If we filled in those blanks, what would we get? If you work zero hours, how much money are you going to make if you make $12 an hour? Zero dollars. If you work one hour, you're going to make $12. Make 12. If you work two hours, you're going to get 24. If you work four hours, 36. If you work eight hours, eight hours, hours. Oh, sorry, this was 48. Who said 36? If you work eight hours, you make $96, right? If you were to write the equation for that, you would get y equals 12 times x, right? We took that. If I were taking this and making points out of this, coordinate points, what would that look like if I were graphing this whole thing? Where this line here is the number of hours I work, and this line here, the y line, is how much money I make. In zero hours, I make zero dollars, so it goes right there, correct? Isn't anybody here? In one hour, I make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve dollars. Two hours I would make boom. For something to be proportional, people, remember this. Okay? If something is proportional, okay, it has to go through the origin. In other words, it has to be when you say zero for one, the other one has to be zero. And when you graph it, it has to end up in a straight line. Just remember that. We'll touch on that many, 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 many more times. Okay, but for something to be proportional, zero, zero has to be a point. And when you graph it, it has to end up looking like a straight line. Um, and I suppose another way to think about it is this. They also, it also has to have what we call um, a common factor. In other words, this. What did I do to this number every time? Multiplied by 12, right? If one time was multiplying by 12 and the other time was multiplying by 3, it's not proportional. Because they will give you a table and they'll ask you if this is proportional. Uh, let's say you have 1, 5, 2, 10, 4, 40, 
and 660 is that proportional? Well, what you look at, the question you ask yourself is, how do I go from 1 to 5? What do I multiply by? 2. 1 to 5. Four. I multiply by five, no, five. 5. 5. I would then have to multiply 5 by all of these and get the number over here. So is 2 times 5 10? Yes. Is 4 times 5 40? No. And if that doesn't work, if that common factor is not there, then this is not proportional. It has to have the same common factor there. Um, they might give you fractions like this. They might say solve this proportion. Solve this proportion, which you can't read because it's only writing half the time. 24 over m equals 8 over 9. 24 over m equals 8 over 9. And that is nothing more than asking you to write equal fractions. What letter would, what number would M be? If you're making equal fractions, how do you go from 8 to 24? Multiply, multiply, multiply by 3. So I take 9, multiply it by 3, and I get 27. <coughs> is that good? That's very fine, yeah. All right, now we've got, now take out ratios. Word problem, great.